Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Postman tutorial, we are going to discuss a bit more about the tests within the Postman and how we are going to use Stringify and Parse and how it all correlates together in the API testing within Postman. Okay, so let's quickly go to one of the uh, test cases and that test case was for example get projects okay so so basically this get call we had couple of test cases there okay and when we say pm okay so let's let's start getting a little bit deeper into the objects that are available okay so let me go to the official documentation of this postman so if you just go to learning.postman.com you will get all the details about the basic learning of the postman api testing but anyways, we are covering through the video, so you don't need to go into each and every line of it. Okay. So the first thing we need to understand is the PM object. Okay. So if you go to the PM object, anything, for example, you will carry out most of the Postman JavaScript API functionality using PM dot. Okay. So if you see any of the existing test case that we have done, right? So it starts with PM. So this is the object, right? So if you say PM dot, and then it will give you all the properties, all the methods that are available against that object right so in that object so basically it will give you access to request response data variable everything basically so in the request if you have to pass on something some detail within the json within the headers or whatever you can basically go ahead do with this pm object and there are different methods and functions available within postman that will make your life very easy right you don't need to go into javascript every now and then the the core javascript the postman itself provides a good functionality and we'll understand all of that right so this is a, one of the important thing that in postman when you are starting your testing it is the pm object to start with which gives you access to request response etc now the next important thing is basically postman javascript reference okay so now for example when we go here the response data okay so if you have to get a response right in order to get the response data so basically it's just pm dot response right and pm dot response object provides access to the data returned in the response from the current request in the script added to the test right so basically for example pm dot response and then dot code okay and that will provide what the response code the, the response status code which is basically this status code right so the response if we go ahead and send this so in the response this status code okay so there's something which went wrong okay pm i have added. so you'll see this status code okay so this is what basically this response code then uh the the response uh status okay uh then we have the response headers response time etc all of that is available then important thing here is pm dot response dot text right which is basically what this function will do is it will the response json that we get right for example here if we see the response of this this is the json right this is the json response in the body that we are getting for all of these project details right so get projects copy then that will be stored as a text right which we can drill down into the properties received right so basically this is the response text okay which is pm dot response dust dot text which will be basically again it's a function which will be providing as a json string right can we do anything in the json string no right i mean we can just send it over from one app to other okay and that's where we are we when we send the request we put the json in the body right so in the body if we have to send we put the json in the body here in the postman and in the response we are getting that json back right but in order to fetch say for example in order to check that the id is thousand uh, or ten thousand three and the key is demo uh it, it exists there we have to first convert this into what into a json into a javascript object and then we can access the properties out of this json file right so for which we have a function pm.response.json right now let's see if we don't have these functions available what will happen okay or how we are going to do it in the postman for example we go to the test okay let me close this and in here if say for example I just want the response okay so i'll simply say pm dot response so if you see that pm dot response basically it inside the test script if you just read read it inside the test script pm dot response object contains all the information pertaining to the response that was that was received basically everything headers body everything so it it has all the information of the response that is received when you hit any of the endpoint api endpoint okay so now from the response if i say dot okay 
then there are, there was a method text as well right so if if i use this method text okay then what it will give me it will give me the response as a text okay so in a textual format okay, so let's try to print it so i'll say console.log and then let's print this on the console and let me comment all these tests as of now save it and then okay so you will see that let me clear and send it. now this is basically what it has printed right so if you see that this is the response that is available as a text right this is nothing but a json right so it's a plain text string okay so basically this is you know whatever we were getting in the response in the body okay exactly th same thing is basically available in the console right as a key value pair right so you'll see it is basically available as a key value pair now because this is json right so this is the json so if we say for example we want to get some value out of it right we want to check the value of a particular key then we have to parse it right because it's a string right so we have to first go ahead and parse it right so in order to parse what method was there or basically what was the method so let me open so it was json.parse right so json.parse now when we said stringify it was more more of a string okay json.stringify was string so now this method that we are using here okay this text method anyways it is storing it in the string right so we don't need to use the stringify i can simply say you know, let response okay and store it in the variable rest right now if i have to change it to the javascript object we'll simply say let me print it so console.log okay and then we have the method response dot or json dot parse and then we simply provide the text that we want to parse so we'll simply provide the text which we want to parse okay and now let's see what will be the response in the console so you will see that here okay so previously we were not getting the response this way okay so now this is a json object javascript object so we have the key we have the value right and basically it is it is how the javascript object looks like now we can if we want to fetch the max results value we can now do it okay so we can simply say let's fetch that value and we'll say console.log okay and now because we have passed this okay so now we can also store it in a variable all right so i can say let response one is equal to json dot parse and then this is parsing this particular text value now from here we know that this is javascript object we can say response dot and we'll be able to see what all you know so ideally because we are if we see dot so as we used to define the javascript object the knowledge was there in the console now because this is a response we can't exactly see what exactly the key values are so postman won't be able to remember that so we have to simply you know maybe go ahead and copy the key for which you want to get the value okay and we'll say response one dot max results and that will be basically logged on the console so this should log basically 50 on the console so if you open you will see 50 has been logged so now we are able to fetch the value out of the response now this is the longer way okay this is just to explain you basically to understand that we are parsing right we can do all of the javascript functions and the capabilities we can use all of it within postman as well now postman provides you out of the box functions right so all this method for example this text along with the text we also have the json right so pm.response.json if we simply say pm.response.json this is a short form of what we are we have done here to parse it and then use the values if we simply say right instead of this okay if we need a text we we use it if we don't then we can simply say pm.response. instead of text we say dot json okay and what this will do is this json method okay so if you go back here you will see pm.response.json what this will do is it will give you a javascript object itself right so it is basically saying that parsing that json and pass, parsing that plain text and storing it as a javascript object right so this this particular line okay this kind of a shorthand or out of the box functionality within postman so i'll comment this okay 
and now I can simply say rest dot max result and it will give exact same results okay so 50 will be basically printed right so you'll see this time as well 50 got printed I'll clear it out and send it again you'll see 50 got okay so this method here okay so pm dot response and dot json will create a javascript object out of the response json okay out of the response json so basically this json that you are getting in the response that will be created as a javascript object so if i print it right so say for example i simply print that response okay so let me say console dot log and just print it on the console and it will show you the properly formatted basically the javascript object for the response in which we can go ahead and use the dot notation to fetch any of the values right and the same concept we'll be using to verify the values right with the test with the postman test cases right which is basically what we have done here so these were the basic test cases that we were using right and these are instead of uh, apart from these dot json dot text there are many more functionalities and methods that are available within postman itself for example if you see here right we have done this pm dot response dot json which is basically what we are doing here and this is a json data which is basically a json or javascript object and then we are saying json data dot max results and then we were verifying that whether it's equal to 50 or not right so this is basically this is the test right similarly there was another test case for the status code and we have these snippets available in the postman itself okay so we'll be discussing a lot more around the functionalities within postman and where you can use the javascript and and the the advancements or the uh, the extra functionalities provided within postman so mostly postman provide uh, everything that you'll need for api testing and automation out of the box so we'll be covering all of that in the upcoming videos so that's all for this particular video i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching